There is an error popping up on your Android phone. Google Play services has stopped. And then the same error after a few seconds, and then the text of the error changes that Google Play services keep stopping. I am showing this on a Samsung phone, which has its own launcher atop of Android. However, on other phones, the error may be something like, unfortunately, Google Play services has stopped. And also this particular Samsung phone at some point rebooted into recovery mode. I am not sure if this is related to that error or maybe just one of the physical buttons is stuck and certain combinations of buttons held during the boot sequence will actually open the recovery menu or boot the phone into a safe mode, for example. And also this Samsung phone is rather old one. It runs Android 7. I am shooting this video in 2025 and the current version of Android seems to be Android 15 and Google has stopped support not only for Android 7 but even for Android 8. What you need to understand is the difference between Android, Google and Google Play Store and other Google services. Android is an open source operating system. Yes, Google is the lead developer of that system but anyone can use it on their devices. Google devices such as Nexus use their own version of Android and also most Android phones, regardless of the manufacturer and Android version, will have some Google services pre-installed into the firmware. These are proprietary services from Google, such as Google Play Store, Google Maps, Gmail and the entire ecosystem around those apps. These are not open source, so, for example, whenever you install a custom firmware on your phone, which is based around open source Android, which is AOSP, those firmwares cannot be shipped with proprietary software such as Google Play services, and that's why you need to install Google Apps separately. So, as of 2025, Google has stopped support for Android 7, this is the version which is in this phone, and also Android 8, 9, 10 and 11 are not supported by Google anymore. That means that Android 11 and lower will not receive any security updates from Google. However, devices running those obsolete operating systems can still access Google Play Store. Currently, as of 2025, Android 5 can no longer access Google Play Store, for example. There are ways to counter that but by default, Android 5 is banned from Play Store. So in short, even though this phone runs unsupported, obsolete version of Android, it still can access Google Play Store, no problem. The reason why you're having this error is probably there was some botched update to Google Play services, and all you need to do is to uninstall the current version of Play services and then update it. If you try searching solutions for this online, there will be an advice to reset the phone to factory defaults. This will definitely clear up everything, including the new versions of Google Play services, however you will also lose all of your data. The second similar approach is even more complicated, you're supposed to use a program on your computer to flash a firmware into your phone. First of all, you will probably also lose all your data, there is a way to keep the files, but the correct way to do a firmware reflash is to wipe the phone. And also it is a little bit complicated. Well, it's not complicated for me, but you may find it complicated since there are many things you have to consider, including the software you need to use. On Samsung phones, that is usually Odin, that's the name of the software. On phones and tablets that are built around MTK processors, the normal utility to be used as SP flash tool and so on. However, there is a much easier way. All you need to do is to open settings, then go to apps. Just in case, tap on the three dot menu and select show system apps. Google Play services is not a system app. It's your normal app that you download from Play Store. And the funny thing is, if you actually go and see the reviews for Google Play services in Google Play Store, the most recent review actually states exactly the same problem I am experiencing, that there is an error that Google Play services has stopped that keeps popping on again and again on this poor guy's phone.
Anyway, find Google Play Services. Make sure this is Google Play Services and not Google Play Services Framework. These are different things. Open Google Play Services, try tapping on free dot menu, and there should be an option, the only option in this case, to uninstall updates. If you uninstall the updates, the app will be reverted to the version that was originally in the firmware for your phone, which is what we are after. However, in some cases, if you don't have the three dots menu, you need to disable this service to open up this dialog to remove the updates. And this is what usually you are told to do online. Just disable the service and it will uninstall the updates. Thumbs up, click like, subscribe and all those kinds of good stuff. The trouble is, those buttons are actually grayed out. And those online guides don't tell you anything how to actually activate those buttons. What you need to do is to go to security settings in the settings app of your phone. Not in the apps list, but your normal settings of the phone. The name of the setting you need to access differs depending on the version of your Android and the launcher used. For example, on this Samsung phone, which runs Android 7, the option is named Lock Screen and Security. On this Chinese phone running Android 13, the option is named Just Security. Tap on Other Security Settings, and there you need to find an option which is called Device Administrators, that's the Android 7 way of naming this setting. In Android 13, the name is Trust Agents. And inside that option, you will see a couple things that actually block the usage of your phone. You have to disable all of them. Don't worry, these are useless services anyway. And as soon as you do that, you can go back to that apps, settings, and find Google Play services there, but now the grayed out buttons will be active, so you can disable the app, and then you will be prompted if you want to uninstall the updates and revert the version of Google Play services back to the stock version, which came with your phone originally. Agree to that, and obviously, after the updates are uninstalled, all Google things will stop working. For example, Maps will complain that you need to upgrade the Google Play services for Maps to work. So you can search Play Store for Google Play services or just open Maps and it will offer you to update Google Play services. And as soon as you're on Google Play services page in Google Play Store, install the update. So basically what we did is removed the Google Play Services update that was causing problems on your phone and then went to Play Store to install the update again. After I did that on this particular phone, Google Play Services stopped crashing, so there is no more errors and I can continue to use this old phone as normal. At least until it loses access to Google Play Store, since unfortunately Google products do have a shelf life. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.